Before we get to the video phone itself, I want to talk briefly about the history of video calling in general, because there's a lot more to it than you might think. This video phone from 1992 was in no way the first implementation of video calling. The idea is actually as old as the telephone itself. In the late 1870s, the idea of the telephonoscope was conceived, a device that could transmit sound and light over phone lines. It was often mentioned in science fiction works from the time, like this illustration that depicts two parents talking to their daughter using speaking tubes. Yes, that's what those things are called, while also being able to see her. Now, this video is not going to cover the entire history History of video telephony because that would need an entire full-length episode. Instead, we're going to be focusing on AT&T's many attempts at creating a video phone system that could be used by consumers in the U.S. AT&T began experimenting with this idea as early as 1927 when their research and development division, Bell Labs, created a prototype of a video phone system. It was later publicly demonstrated when Herbert Hoover, then the Secretary of Commerce, gave a speech to an audience in New York City from over 200 miles away in Washington, D.C., and they could see him. It was extremely impressive, though it required an entire room full of equipment to operate properly. And it was only a one-way video call, meaning that Hoover could not see the audience he was talking to. Telephone of tomorrow. You dial the boyfriend, and when he answers, he appears on the screen. Yes, it certainly helps you keep in touch and in the picture. Of course, it has disadvantages, especially when the old man is delayed at the office. Telephone TV, with callers able to see as well as hear soon be a recognized reality. I think the picture phone will contribute significantly far outweighing any distractions while we adjust to it. Ninety-four years ago, Alexander Graham Bell uttered the words, Mr. Watson, come here, I want you. That sentence heralded the start of, modern, of the modern era of uh, communication. Then two years later in New Haven, Connecticut, everyday commercial routine telephone service began. John, you're looking well this morning. I'm very pleased and proud, uh, John, uh, to participate with you this morning in this historic call. And uh, the city of Pittsburgh has been a, a pioneer, as you know, somewhat in the communications field, having had the first commercial radio station here. And I'm so pleased to be part of this new dimension of communication. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I'm delighted to be um, part of this party. This picture phone is just as much a, uh, an amazing uh, innovation today as the telephone was when your father participated in the first call back there in Tennessee. By the way, I want to congratulate you on your recent election as board chairman. And I'd also like to congratulate you as being one of the first customers here to the picture phone. Thank you very much. Now, we've had a uh, we've had a great understanding of the picture call because you think that more and more of our problems are due to the lack of good communication. Incidentally, I understand you've become somewhat of an expert on the picture phone and have some uh, uh, methods that you'd like to demonstrate. Could you do anything for us, John? Uh, yes, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, very nice control system on this. Uh, just for example, we can uh, change the, uh, the uh, 
has the picture like this, or, or uh, with, a, with a zoom control, uh, up and down with a uh, with a height control. Uh, we have a way of cutting off the voice. For example, I'll start counting and I'll cut off the voice and then put it back on. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine. So that in case we uh, we want to uh, to cut off the uh, the voice from here, we can do that. Uh, we have a uh, a uh, privacy control which cuts out the picture, and I'll push that, and all you'll see is a band across the screen. But you see a band there now. Yes, so uh, these controls are are very good. There's a volume control to control the uh, voice. I think it's a uh, they've done a very fine job of working out a control system. There's another. Uh, uh, Device I'd like to show you, and this is a way of showing of showing documents. And I'll I'll show you uh, one of my favorite uh, documents on this, if I may. <laughs> <laughs> is that what they call a commercial, John? <laughs> <laughs> you might call that a commercial. I just happened to have that handy. I uh, I congratulate them on it. I think they've done a wonderful job, and I think that we're going to see uh, this picture phone system find it about as rapidly as they're able to take care of it, because I think that it can be so helpful in our overall communication <coughs> program that, uh, that more and more people are going to find use for it, and I'm sure we're going to find it a very useful tool. Well, it's been very exciting being with you this morning, John, and uh, participating in this first picture phone call. Very good, Mr. Mayor. I've enjoyed visiting with you as always. Uh, my congratulations to Bell and Larry Barnhorst and the many other people who have made this great technological advance here in Pittsburgh. Nice to be with you, and here's looking at you. Oh. Uh, John, thank you very much. Uh, Mayor Flaherty, uh, George, Lou, we certainly enjoyed it, and uh, I'm sure that my words uh, are prophecy. This is a historic occasion, and uh, we couldn't be more pleased that it's Pittsburgh where we're starting this service. So we hope you enjoy it, John, and find good value from it. Very right, very good. See you again soon. Right. Bye. Bye, John. Bye. Hello, Laura. Hello, darling. I shall be home in ten minutes. Is dinner nearly ready? Not nearly, but in ten minutes it will be. Well, the reality, of course, is that the progress towards a true video phone has been painfully slow. We've reported on them more than once. But here's a system that finally seems to be getting quite a lot closer. The problems for the engineers have been enormous. When you consider that to get this picture to you, we're creating over three million bits of information and sending them 25 times per second. And that makes over 80 million bits per second. And the uh, poor old telephone line can only carry a mere 64,000 a second. So to send this picture, I'd need well over a thousand separate lines. To use fewer lines, you'd need to cut down drastically on the volume of information you send. And this system achieves that, first of all by sending only seven pictures per second, and then only sending the information when the picture changes. Now then, I'll show you how that works. This is the camera that's looking at me, and if you imagine that the picture's divided up into sort of blocks like that, and inside each block there are 64 tiny picture elements. And what happens here is that the details in each block are only sent when the picture changes. Now then, if I move and come to rest, you should hopefully see those blocks appearing on the screen. And if I'm perfectly still, and now the only thing that's moving is my mouth, so the only information that needs to be sent is from the blocks surrounding my mouth. If I change the picture, then it only takes a couple of seconds for the whole thing to be rebuilt. Well, this system so much reduces the information sent each second that a quite acceptable picture can be squeezed down just one telephone line. But before you get too excited, although the wires exist, the digital equipment needed in the telephone exchanges for a dial-up network won't be available for three or four years. But now, I'm going to route the very first video phone call in the country through to Portsmouth, where Maggie's waiting. Hello, 
house. Hello, Maggie. I love your shirt. Oh, thank you. I like yours too. What are you doing in Portsmouth? Now then, if you had bothered to read next week's copy of the Radio Times, uh -huh. you would know that I'm in St Mary's Hospital, one of the hospitals that we're going to be covering for Hospital Watch next week. Are you? Are you? Are you the one in the middle on this photograph? <laughs> No, seriously, no, Howard. I watched my first birth this afternoon. It was absolutely fantastic. A really emotional occasion. Wonderful. Sounds fantastic. Nice to see you, Maggie, and to talk to you. Right, right. Well, I hope to see you next week, then. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye. Well, now we're off outside to see how preparations are going for the BBC's newest stuntman. Get ready to reach out and touch what AT&T bills as the first colour motion video phone for the home. Ever wonder what your mother looks like when you explain you are not coming for dinner? Or how about your boss when running late in the morning? You will soon be able to find out. No matter what you may have heard, we are not changing AT&T's legal name to American Telephone and Television Company. <laughs> but what we are doing is changing the nature of communications today. Get ready to reach out and touch what AT&T bills as the first color motion video phone for the home. You guys look great too. As a demonstration, AT&T used actors Robert Wagner and Jill St. John in Los Angeles to see and talk with daughter Katie in New York. I think it is definitely the end of blind dating and the beginning of other kind of dating over the phone. Maybe no Probably. Shy suitors and anyone else wanting privacy can flip a shutter to block the camera, but some people want AT&T to voluntarily not sell any of the video phones to 900 sex line numbers. You can just imagine uh, unsupervised children being able to call a 900 number. We've been hearing about picture phones since the World's Fair in the mid-60s. People have been able to see and talk with each other more recently through business teleconferencing. Usage jumped dramatically because of the fear of terrorism during the Gulf War and the lower cost versus flying. The big difference here in the home, no special equipment, you can plug it into a standard wall jack. The price of a video phone call will be the same as a regular telephone call, but the device will cost about $1,500. Naturally, it will take two to talk. The picture, though, is not the best. Ten frames a second, kind of like talking to early shuttle astronauts. The motion is kind of jerky. And if you've got 60 TV channels at home, you might even get bored. Wave. Do something. But techno analysts think it's a major coup. The technologies they brought together are like putting all the water from a fire hydrant to a fire hose through a garden hose. It's just amazing to squeeze this much visual information, the sort of thing people need cable TV and TV broadcasters over a normal phone line. The video phone goes on sale in May. What a world we live in. Just think, they would have found E.T. so much faster. Richard Roth, CNN, New York.